In the previous tutorials, we've explored find. Now let's have a look at find and replace. Let's say we want to find all the koalas in our range here and replace them with goat. So let's go over to our Google Apps script here and we'll rename this function to find and replace text. Okay, let's add in some variables at the start. So we'll say const for a constant variable that doesn't change. We'll say search text. This is going to be the text we want to search for, and that's going to be they call me Caramello. Koala. And then, of course, we'll need to get a replace text. So const replace text is equal to goat. We also want to grab the sheet name, const sheet name, and that's going to be equal to our first sheet, which is simply for us sheet one. We also need the range location that we want to search in. You can use find and replace on the entire workbook. So all the sheet tabs in the range or just a single sheet or a specific range. Of course, there's processing overheads for each one and we want to keep our processing overhead really low. We know that our range isn't going to change from A1 through to F16 here. So we're just going to provide that. So let's go const range lock and that's going to be equal to a let's say a2 because we don't need the header through to f16 great so our main variables are set up now we need to grab our spreadsheet so we can go const again ss equals spreadsheet app and we'll say get active spreadsheet then const sheet is equal to spreadsheet again our ss variable get sheet by name and we're going to add in our sheet name here this one so copy paste good okay and lastly we need to get the range so const range equals sheet dot get range and we're going to use a1 notation here and that's our range lock. Okay, so now all we need to do is grab this range and we're going to chain some methods to it. So let's just return and add a tab. And the first one is, so we need to create an instance of the text finder. So we are going to go create text finder. And this takes the text to find which is our search text. And this method takes our replace text. Super simple. Okay, let's hit save and let's see what's going to happen here. Have a look over the other side here. Now I've just used some conditional formatting to show you when things change. So this will change from green to orange. It's not done in the code here. It's just done in some conditional formatting just to make it easier for, for you to see. All right, so let's go back and we'll, we've saved our code. We've got fine. Our text and replace, we're going to hit run now. I have to go through authorization for the first time. Okay, so have a look over the left hand side here. You can see now that we've placed all the text, all the koalas, uh, with goat in them. So even if we've got text in there or in the cell already, for example, groovy uh, goat or groovy koala, so let's go back one. So we had caramello koala and groovy koala here. The caramello and the groovy stayed, but the koala was replaced with goat. So we'll just run the script one more time. And you can see that that's been replaced. Okay, so what about if we just want to replace all the cells that just have koala in it, but not any other words in it as well? What we can do here between this create text finder and replace all with, we'll put in another method and we can say match entire cell. And that's going to be set to true. So now the only items that are going to be changed are this koala, this one, this one, oh, that's Bobcat, this one, this one, and this one. Let's go ahead and hit save and see what the results are. Cool. So now we've got all our replacements for goats, but any set of compound words here have remained as koala and whatever the other word is as well.
In our next tutorial, we are going to cover how to find and replace the first set of search values. So maybe the first three values or the last one or n number of values in a range. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, please subscribe. Until next time.